Hey there, I am back with another Free the Pip Friday. This is the feature on the channel where we open up super rare decks and give you a chance to see some of those designs that are, for most people, just kept sealed. I'm a big fan of opening up decks and really appreciating all the artwork. Uh, and for this one, we're gonna be looking at Junkanu from Usi Playing Cards. Now, this is a hard deck to find. Uh, it was originally produced uh, as a commission from Baja Mar Casino in the Bahamas. Uh, they commissioned 1,000 of these decks to be made, but most of them were really reserved for some of the high rollers and patrons of their casino. They did, though, give 225 of the decks back to Usi to sell on their site. They were sold at a really premium price at the time, $50 deck, but they sold out really quickly. Uh, so nowadays, hard deck to get a hold of. I was super glad to get one and even more excited to show it to you guys. So let's get right into it. All right, starting with the name of the deck, Junkanoo, what is that all about? Well, Junkanoo is a street festival that's popular in the Bahamas, and it's a time uh, that harkens back to the 1700s when some of the slaves that were uh, living in the Bahamas would get a few days off during Christmas and they'd band together, make these handmade, beautiful, ornate costumes out of whatever they could find around, get together, play music, dance, celebrate. Uh, often they would have costume contests and things like that. So really fun, raucous time. Uh, and today that celebration is held every Boxing Day, the day after Christmas uh, to this day in the Bahamas and a lot of the other uh, countries around the Caribbean. All right, but for this particular design, starting with the tuck case, uh, it's done on a matte finish cardstock and it has some very, very slight embossing. Not a lot, it's, uh, but it's a great luxurious feel to it overall. Most of it's done in these shades of blue or blue green, uh, and it does have accents with red and gold foil throughout. In the middle, you've got Junkanoo playing cards, all done in gold foil. You see Baja Mar credited there at the top, complete with their logo in gold foil in the center, that wave pattern. And then you get a beautiful watercolor style uh, design covering the entire front of the tuck case. It's sort of built around this center image here, which is the Baja Mar logo wave and then builds out a beautiful floral inspired pattern around the edge. You have these big round flowers in the corner, series kind of done up in it, almost like it's in a picture frame with that gold border. And then you have the red and gold dots that give you nice little pops of color as you turn this in the light. Really nice uh, front to the tuck case. On the sides, you have more bluish greenish designs, more gold and red dots all the way around. Same thing on the other side. Some ad copy for Usi and Baja Mar on the bottom. Also mentions the Taiwan Expert Playing Card Company that printed the deck. Top has just some more blue embellishments there. Back's going to be a version of the back design of the cards with some gold foiling added. And then you get this posted stamp style seal in red that mentions Baja Mar as well as their slogan, Life Spectacular. And then the ones down here at the bottom indicate that this is the first edition of the deck. There's actually a second edition that was printed uh, and you'll know it's different because it has a blue seal with a two printed here instead of a one. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, as you open it up, you get that slogan mentioned again in gold foil, life spectacular. Nothing printed on the inside, but you do get a nice, beautiful, bright, vibrant blue color. So great tuck case, love the feel to it. I uh, love the watercolor uh, design aesthetic that's on there. It's a really great tuck case. Let's look at the cards and we'll start with the back design. Uh, definitely similar to what we're looking at on the back design, but no foil or anything on the uh, back design here. Has the same basic design. You'll see here, if I cut this off, that right here, this half here is sort of the ins inspired by the logo of Bahamar. And then it's built out with a series of waves and flowers and then reflected to form the two-way back design. Really beautiful coloring. If you look closely at some of the color, you'll see variations in there, kind of, kind of like it was watercolor painted onto there. Uh, but fantastic design throughout. Finishes out in this medium thick white poker border. Love the colors on this one, just a great color scheme. Uh, you get a pair of extra cards. They're nearly identical, just mirror image jokers here. 
and you'll get your first look at some of the vivid costumes that are part of Junkanoo. Uh, they're all, you know, and the, when they're performing in the street, you'll see lots of them either playing instruments or dancing in the street, and they'll almost all have these beautiful costumes and headdresses. The Joker here is wearing this uh, red on one side, blue on the other, feathered headdress and playing the horn. Uh, so really nice look to it overall. Is that red on the top, blue on the bottom, and then the red and blue Joker Joker in the corners. So great look at it. I love the uh, court cards and Jokers that uh, Usi designs. They always do a phenomenal job on those. These are no exception. All right, going to the Aces. Only the Ace is a power, Ace of Spades is a power ace in this one, uh, but it features a dark blue, maybe see some of the blue there, almost looks black, but it's a dark blue spade pip in the uh, watercolor kind of feel to it overall. And then you have the crossing horn one direction and then the Junkanoo banner in the other. And the, the uh, spade pip there is crowned with a beautiful feathered headdress, lots of detail on it. Uh, you have a fairly, at first glance, standard looking pip and index in the corner. You look a little bit closer, you'll see some of the color variation, just like with everything else, has that watercolor feel to it as well. Uh, the other three aces are all pretty much standard. Uh, they feature, you know, customized pips in the center, but not any larger than the others. Nothing special about these compared to the other number of cards. But you'll see the classic red on the red cards, and then a super dark, almost black looking uh, blue color on the club. Uh, so that's your aces. The number cards are kind of more the same. You'll see a little bit more variation in these, uh, something that Uzi does on a few of their other decks. These are very similar to like the, the pips you'll find uh, on the Bohemia deck, for example, uh, but lots of variation in here. You'll see everything from like almost super light blue pips to ones that look almost black kind of mixed together. And I love the variation in the color. And then as you go into the red pips, more of the same, kind of a more rounded feel to the diamonds here. And then through the clubs, probably the most custom um, or non-standard of the pips, if you will. And then closing out with the hearts, classic shape to those. And here you can see just how dramatic that variation in color can be. So that is the number cards. But the real color and life of those street fairs come to life in the courts as should be expected. Like I said before, Usi always does a phenomenal job with quartz, and these are pieces of art. Uh, all of them feature uh, some of the people from the Bahamas, the natives who would be dressed in these beautiful costumes. And most of the costumes, at least in the festival, they're usually handmade, if not always handmade. In fact, they start from really simple materials. Most of them use a base material of just plain cardboard, and then they'll glue on you know, sequins, feathers, all sorts of crepe paper, whatever they can find to turn them into these elaborate pieces of art. And you'll see that reflected on the myriad of different costumes and characters here. A lot of them are playing instruments as they would be in the fair, in the festival, uh, to play music while others are just dancing. Beautiful, vibrant colors. The spades all feature kind of a blue and purple color scheme. Uh, and you can see the Jack and the King are both holding instruments, whereas the Queen here is just dancing in the streets. Uh, beautiful color on these two-way courts all the way around. Uh, going to the diamonds, you get a little bit of a color scheme change. These are done in a lot of yellows mixed in with some turquoise and red. Uh, very fun look to them overall. And you can get a look at a completely new and different style of headdresses now. Less feathers and a more ornate style on these. And then into the clubs, you got three more characters. These are a lot more blue on these. And then finishing out with the hearts. And hearts, you'll see a couple of them with cowbells. You'll see a lot of cowbells in the festivals as well. Uh, but a lot of reds and yellows in these. And these feature my favorite of the entire set of court cards here on the Queen of Hearts. Just that dramatic headdress uh, really just stands out. Uh, so that is the heart court cards. Uh, so that is the deck. Really beautiful, uh, phenomenally done artwork all the way around. Uh, as far as handling, I mentioned before, these are printed by the Expert Playing Card Company in Taiwan. They're done on a premium stock with their linen finish. 
Uh, now, it's definitely a slightly thicker stock, like if you're used to a super crushed stock or something like that, so it's a little bit on the thicker side. Not much, though. They still, you know, spring and handle uh, pretty nicely. I mean, springs and dribbles are going to handle very well still. Uh, they're also a really slick, slippery feel to them, so they're going to fan really smoothly. I will say with that kind of fatter border, you know, the details aren't going to show up as easily in fans, but they still do handle really nicely for that. Uh, nonetheless. So can't complain about the handling. I don't have too many other cards that are with this uh, stock and finish, but I'm a fan. I think it's really well done. Uh, now, as far as uses of the deck, now, obviously this is one of those rare decks. So most people are going to keep it sealed as an art deck. Wouldn't blame anybody for that, but if you're going to open it up uh, and you're going to use it, I would say it's probably best used as a gameplay deck. Definitely fitting considering that it was produced for a casino, that they want a functional deck. And I think this would be a fun addition to any game. So I think it'd be a great gameplay deck. Uh, but for most people, it's gonna be an art deck if you open it up, you're really just gonna kind of look at the cards uh, or one that you just keep sealed. That obviously is gonna be where most people are gonna stay with a deck this rare. Uh, but I'm a huge fan, absolutely recommend picking these up if you can find one at a good price. Uh, I have no regrets. I'm a huge fan of the deck. So that's it. That is the look at Junkanoo for Free the Pip Friday. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews, more unboxings, and more Free the Pip Friday in the future. And let me know what else you want to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.